Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Today I have some sad and frustrating news. A Twitter user named Blue Maxima has shared information about people from RetroArch, the front end program for game emulators, and they've been accused of harassing and blackmailing the lead dev of the Duck Station emulator. And in case you didn't know, the Duck Station emulator is one of the PS1 emulators on PC. Because there's a lot of text here, I won't read through it all, but I will leave screenshots up on the screen. But in summary, the dev, Stenzek, was harassed by members of RetroArch, including the main head of RetroArch. Stenzek said that he was threatened and blackmailed by the team. Additionally, he said other devs have been harassed as well, including the PCSX2 team. This is definitely unacceptable behavior, and it's worse because even though he blocked them and actively tried to avoid them, they kept hounding him. The only thing that I don't think Stenzek has room to and this is for a loss of better words, complain about, is copyright violation. The emulator is open source, so I don't know if any copyright could be claimed as violated. That being said, though, everything else is quite valid to be upset about. The worst part about all of this is that the head of RetroArch allegedly was the reason for the suicide of Nier, who was a programmer for SNES emulation. For accusations like this, without concrete evidence, I cannot say if this is correct, but if it is, RetroArch is a reprehensible organization. There is no excusing this. The only thing I wonder is how long this alleged, and I have to say that, abuse went on before the suicide. Because who knows how long this has gone on with other devs and programmers. Other programmers have even had their employers contacted by the head of RetroArch, claiming that they were the ones harassing him, even though it looks pretty clear that it's the other way around. And this situation sucks all around for these guys. They're trying to put their passion of retro gaming out there into making these emulators and perfecting them as much as they can, and these jerks are harassing them while benefiting from their work. It's disgusting. Stentec has currently set the Duck Station GitHub page to read only, so you won't be able to post anything or place a pull request, but you can still download the different emulator builds and source code. I'll leave a link to the GitHub in the description. Personally, after learning this information, I cannot support RetroArch anymore. I will remove it from my Steam account and stop using the standalone version. I'll just use standalone emulators from now on unless something better comes through. But even though I'm losing the convenience that RetroArch has by consolidating the emulator cores under one program, I cannot use it while knowing that the team behind it are despicable humans who harass and threaten others. I cannot tell you to do the same, but I hope you'll consider doing it as well. What I do ask is that you share this information. You don't even have to share this video. If you could share the original thread, which I will leave a link in the description, that will be good enough. This needs to get spread around, and RetroArch needs to be held accountable for their actions. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. So until next time, everyone, I am Zerikhan signing off. Have a good one.